Hi everybody, I am Raksha. Welcome back to my video. So in my previous video, we have learned about how to migrate RDL files manually. In this video, we are going to learn about how to migrate RDL files in an automated manner. So for that, we are going to perform following steps. Step number one is you head over to this particular link as you can see on my screen, wherein you have this hyperlink of RDL migration tool. Go to that, then you shall see uh, this uh, files under releases so just click on it then down there in the asset se section you shall see this zip folder so download that and then what you need to do is once you have downloaded all the files over there create a new folder as rdl migration into some of the directory wherever you want to save then copy all the files in this particular folder so as you can see that these are the resources which were there in the zip file so this is a step one uh, you can ignore these two for now so after you have downloaded this next step is to configure the report server so just click on search button and look for report server configuration so this is the app that we need to use for the configuration report server configuration manager app so i have already opened it here so you shall see that this is how it looks so um just connect with all the details i have uh, used the SS, uh, rs as my instance there 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 may be chances that you may have pbi uh, uh, instance so based on that there will be two particular links that will be following up so one is the web service url which is this and second is the web portal url which is this so once you click on these links you shall see that this links were open somewhat like this so this is my report server link and this is my reporting services so uh, this is a step number two then step number three is to generate an app id so for that what you can do is you have to head over to this particular link so this is uh, app registration wherein i you shall see these following steps okay then what you can do over here is you have to sign into your power bi with your account register your application give us some uh, 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 name to it i have given automated migration and uh, for now so you can give any name to it then check all the permissions which are required which are basically read and write all data sets read and write all reports and read all workspaces after you have done that you can skip this part if you if you have already created a workspace so in my case i have already created this workspace automated migration one thing to note over here is when you work with paginated report you will always require a premium user uh, uh, workspace over here so this as you can see this is a premium user workspace so that is done then after you have completed all the registration thing once you click, uh, hit on this register you shall see one app id will be generated over here in the summary section copy that and that we are going to use in the powershell command script so after you have given all this uh, import content permissions and grant permissions you shall see that your app will be registered in this app registration section in your azure directory so these are the apps and this is the application id that will be generated that's it for this video. We'll see how to migrate the files using all these three steps in the next video. Thank you for watching.